Hello everybody, let's work out a few exercises concerning uh, 12 bar blues. So again, to be specific and clear about this, we are dealing with major blues. So dominant 7 chords all the way, okay? So let's do it in E. Remember the uh, formula? So let's write it out one time here. So uh, 1 7, and you do that for 4 bars, alright? So let's stick to the vanilla form. 4, 7, and then back to 1. You should have memorized this chord progression by now, in fact. So, and then a 5, 4, and uh, a 1 again, and then a 5 one more time. So, sometimes when I'm being lazy, I'll just skip all the uh, 7, because uh, you should know that they are all dominant 7 chords. So, it's just 1, 4, 1, and then 5, 4, 1, 5, okay? So, in E, that would be E dominant 7 for four bars and uh, A7, that's the four chord for two bars back to E7 for two bars five, so that's a B7 a four, A7 one, seven here and then a five at the end alright, that's your E blues what about G? alright, G one chord, that's a G dominant sound chord four bars four chord would be a C7, two bars one chord that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be two bars and then a five and then a four and then a one and then a five all right that's G blues we got two more okay so B flat blues so these are the common keys in blues so I think they're worth uh, your time B flat blues, so one chord is B flat. Seven. Alright, should have did I put down seven here? You're right. Okay, B flat seven. And then the four would be an E would be E flat seven. Back to one. And then a five. F seventh. Four E flat seventh. And then that's um freezed. Okay, B flat seven and five seven. Cool, so that's your B flat blues. Finally, we have C blues. So C seven, four bars, F seven, two bars, back to C seven, two bars, five, four, one, and five. Alright? Cool.